well peas showing you how to make a cheesy uh kind of nacho sauce kind of thing um all right here we go i'm doing this with one hand so hope that's fine about yay amount of salt teaspoon maybe coconut cream good stuff this is tapioca uh, starch. You can probably use just about any starch. Um, yeah, a couple of teaspoons should be fine. A bit of soy milk. This is totaling around a cup, by the way. About half and half soy milk and coconut cream. Yes, it does have a slight coconut uh, taste, but a bit of turmeric. You don't want much at all. Just, yeah, that's probably fine. This is how I like to do a lime. So you get the lime, you get your spoon, and to get into the middle of the lime, you can kind of gouge it out, which is kind of messy, but whatever. It's lime. So you want to, you don't want to mix the uh, starch in when it's hot. You want to do it when it's cool. The lime already, the lime reacts with the uh, soy, by the way, and make, thickens it up a fair bit before you even put it in. Taste it, make sure it's salty enough. Turmeric's really just for color. It is nice when it looks a little bit, I don't know, like a um, little, just a bit of yellow, yellow tinge to it, not bright yellow or anything. I probably put too much in there. The starch thickens it up, basically. Makes it kind of cling on to the corn chip. You could probably do this and then grill it as well. And because the uh, coconut oil has a fair amount of fat in it, it would probably brown. All right, turning this back on, dipping that in. It just needs to come up to boiling in order for it to thicken. You can't let the soy milk, with most soy milks will like curdle when you um, heat them for too long or at too high temperature. So you don't want to get the soy milk boiling for very long at all. Yeah, we're already getting a little bit thick. That's about the consistency we want. But um, we'll see how much further it goes because it'll probably get thicker and thicker and thicker until it boils. Try this. We don't want it to be runny, we want it to be the consistency of melted molten cheese. 20 second rule, 